Another approach is LinkedIn. Yeah. And LinkedIn, you've got groups. So, all right, so there's what you do, right? Let's take Fabio, for instance, with management consultants. You get on LinkedIn and you look for groups that have something to do with management. And you're looking for, they have a lot, a lot, a lot of members. And you're looking for, they speak the language that you want to speak, right? Italian or English, okay? So you want them to be okay in a language that you speak and to have a ton of members, right? So you find groups like that and then start off by lurking. You're just a member and now you see what people post and how it goes. And what, from reading people's posts, you can get an idea of what's going on with this group and you can start posting yourself bit by bit. Now these guys, this is a very interesting public. These are professionals in the same business that you're in. You can actually post about that voodoo that you do to see what kind of response you get to that, right? Another thing you can do as long as you're posting to a LinkedIn group is make sure in your signature that you've got your, web, your website address, your email address, or your contact info. Because LinkedIn has, what, 150 million members? So these links, these links count. These links actually have All right, here's a LinkedIn angle, right? This is for total world domination. What you do is you join a couple of these groups that have to do with your field. You see what sort of things people talk about on them. Oh, okay. You try to share your expertise in such a way as to be helpful. Not to give away the store, but to be helpful, right? Mm -hmm. So you're being helpful and you're including all your contact information and your signature. Okay. Next, you open your own group because this establishes you as the go-to person. You're the person that's got the answers. You're an expert in that field. You attract more people to your group now, which is a process. This is not like an overnight thing.